Maybe you hadn't realized this because honestly, it only hit me the other day, but not only is a new year nearly upon us, but a new decade. Still haven't quite wrapped my head around that one. We are saying goodbye to the teens and hello to the twenties. Been there. And I don't know about you, but I am ready to go out with a bang. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and I help busy people cut the crap and get back to happy. This time of year is great for lighting a bit of a fire underneath you because the kids are back in school, the seasons are changing, and you are vaguely aware that there is a new year on the horizon. It's also the time where you think, feck, where is the year going? It feels like just yesterday that I was slapping on the sunscreen and now today I'm swapping that for sweaters. So what better way to beat the winter blues, assuming you live in the Northern Hemisphere, than to make a plan of action for how you are going to wipe the slate clean and start fresh in the new year slash decade. I have done this every year for the past few years and it gives me that extra push that I need to achieve some of my goals and to knock some of those niggling tasks off my to-do list once and for all. This year is no exception, so I have compiled a 20 before 2020 list. Now, I'm not going to run through all of mine because yawn, but I will scroll them here so that you can see. Now is a great time to tackle some tasks that have been on your list for a while. You know yourself how smug you're going to feel when it's done. So between now and the new year, commit to knocking some of those tasks off your list once and for all. I will share some suggestions and some specific examples right here in a minute, but for now, think of all the things that are currently undone. All of those open loops you have. The projects started, but never finished. The decluttered stuff that's still sitting in a donation pile. The stuff that's still in boxes from that time you moved. Six years ago. Make a list. Write down all the things that you have been meaning to do. All the calls you've been meaning to make, the forms you've been meaning to fill out, the laundry you've been meaning to fold. Now you might be thinking, uh, no thanks. I'll be here all day and I don't have enough paper. You will be surprised how difficult it is to come up with 20 things. I always have 11 bajillion things on the go at once because I am a crazy person and I get a mad notion and then I run with it until some other shiny thing comes along. But it was still hard to hit 20. Took me a while. Now, I'm not saying you have to hit 20. You could certainly have less, but I would definitely cut it off at 20 lest you overwhelm yourself. If you are struggling to come up with 20, and I can almost guarantee you that you will, despite what you currently think, here is a list of some solid examples. Feel free to steal them for your own list. Catching up on laundry. I did this one last year and I can't tell you how smug I felt when I did it. I caught up on laundry, but it has been over a month now. And I still have not received a medal. I strutted into the new year like a new woman. There was no talking to me. Calling a loved one. Could be a family member, could be a close friend, could be a partner, whoever. Call someone who matters to you. Call them just for a catch up. Call them to tell them you love them. Call them to tell them you're coming home. Call them to tell them that funny thing that happened to you at work. Time spent talking to and connecting with someone you love is never wasted. Okay, one more and then we will get back to the whys and the hows and the things to look out for. Make that appointment. You know the one you've been putting off. Maybe a full physical, blood work, a smear test, eye test, hearing test, dental checkup, or all of the above. An appointment with your accountant or your attorney or a financial advisor. Even a haircut will be taking my own advice. On that one, it's a bit overdue. Get them scheduled because what better way to face into the new year than with a clean bill of health, physically and financially, and a fresh new do. Brand new do, brand new you. Now, if you want my advice, only include things that you have been meaning to do. You've already got enough on your plate without adding new things to it. 
The idea here is to wipe the slate clean. Not to go out and buy yourself a whole new slate. <laughs> These are going to be the tiny things that, you know, bug the living snot out of you on a regular basis, but never seem quite big enough to actually do something about them. The thing that needs a new battery, or the burnt out light bulb that you need to change in your bathroom. It is time to stop letting them slowly suck all the enjoyment out of your life and your home and put them right. We are talking about resetting, you know, rebooting, freeing up some space in the hard drive that is your head. Clearing the cache, dumping the junk, getting rid of temporary files, but save the cookies as a reward for when you're done. That's a little nerd joke there. <laughs> No, no, okay. Moving on. <laughs> Expanding on that then, try not to add anything new to your to-do list between now and the new year if you can avoid it. Unless obviously some incredible opportunity comes your way, in which case you should grab it with both hands, wrap your legs around it. But don't be taking on stuff just for the sake of it. That is exactly how to-do lists never get done. Remember, Cleaning the current slate. We're saving the next one for the new year. Okay, let's quickly look at some of the ways that you can ensure that you are actually making progress on your list before I share. Maybe not so much a warning as just a heads up. One of the best ways to make sure that you clean your slate is by making everything on it small and specific. Like, look, I know, laundry technically is a never-ending job, but have a point at which you can say that the job is done. For me, it was when I could say that the hamper was no longer overflowing, all the full loads were done, there was no more big, giant, huge, massive <laughs> ironing pile, and all of the clean clothes were put away. So have that point at which you can say you are officially done and you can take that task off your list. You will also have to schedule in some time to do it. I mean, if free time were just to magically appear on a regular basis, there would be no need to watch this video. But life has a funny habit of filling up, so you're gonna have to be a little bit more intentional with your time between now and the new year. If they are fairly kind of mindless autopilot tasks, things like folding clothes, for example, try and fit them in with something that you're already doing that is equally kind of mindless, like watching TV, for example. If it requires a little bit more attention, but you can get it done in short bursts of time, then use ad breaks. For each one hour show you are watching, there is probably about 15 minutes of ads. Do you have any idea how much stuff you could actually get done in 15 minutes, particularly when you are racing to get back to the TV? And then set aside an hour or two every weekend so you can tackle some slightly bigger tasks like maybe decluttering or deep cleaning. Okay, now for the word of warning slash just general heads up. I'm not gonna lie. The chances of you completing your entire list are probably quite slim. Stuff happens, life gets busy, someone will get sick, you will be exceptionally tired, there will be some form of emergency at work, they'll announce a new season of your favourite show and then you will have to spend endless hours like reading everything that has ever been written about it and catching up on previous seasons. Don't worry, I have been doing this challenge for I think three or four years now and I have never once completed my entire list. It's not about getting your slate completely spotless. The benefit is in the progress. No matter how many things you get done or how many things you don't get done, you are still getting closer to that clean slate. You're still taking long-standing tasks off your to-do list and creating precious space in your head and on your schedule. You're closer than you would have been if you just sat back and wasted the next few weeks of your life. What matters is that your slate is cleaner and that you can strut into 2020 with less stuff weighing you down. So sit down today and make your list. All the little cobwebs you want to clear away. And at the dawn of the new decade, you will be a better, lighter, 
freer person than before. If you are looking for some extra inspiration for things you can do, watch this video where I share nine things to do before the new year. Until then, go have me la mahagwev. Agus vekimeshif shikalua. Slam.